Oh, hey guys, it's uh, Drew here at Wall Chevrolet. I just wanted to show you how to use Apple CarPlay, the brand new connectivity system that's in a whole bunch of new 2016 GM vehicles. I'm in this brand new Silverado here with an iPhone 5 and a cable. Just thought it'd be a great time to, just to give you a quick little video. So if you hop into a new GM vehicle, easiest way to tell if it has CarPlay is if you have this icon that says projection. That is Apple CarPlay slash Android Auto. And all it's telling you is that it is a projection system. Once you plug the phone in, uh, as we'll see right here, Phone goes in the USB. There's my phone down there. It says CarPlay. And instantly, if we look at that icon, it will turn into the CarPlay. And there we go. So all I'm going to do is press. And those are the main icons that are on my phone right now. So I can go into music. And it's laid out in the same way as an iPhone, except the menus at the top here. So it's lightning fast, too. Um, I only have one artist there as well. But as you can see, go into all that stuff. And the cool thing is it even has the home button like an iPhone. It's even shaped the same way. Um, there was a lot of development with Apple. So there's obviously Apple licensing too. So there's a lot of features. If it looks similar to an iPhone, it's because it was done entirely on purpose. And one neat feature too is if you hold the home button just like on your iPhone, you can ask Siri to do all sorts of stuff for you. Siri, send message to Drew. Okay, what do you want to say to Andrew Stevens' friend? So there we go. We can send text. So you can either send text by using the, or any function, by holding the home button and telling Siri uh, to do something as you would on your iPhone, or you can go directly into the Messages app and do it from there. Who shall I text? <clears throat> so you can have incoming texts read to you. And you can also send texts while you're on the move. However, those incoming texts will not be shown on the screen, um, unlike the messages you have already received, which will be shown here. So you can access those messages, um, the names of your contacts, and um, it will show you the most recent messages. But if, say you have received a message while in the vehicle, it will not show you those messages because it wants you to keep your eyes on the road. And you'll also see on here, it says iPhone as well. So it, that will tell us if we're using Android, obviously uh, Android. And um, another thing to note is that there's a lot more apps coming. Right now we have uh, support for MLB at Bat, Spotify, RDO, Stitcher, all those sort of um, audio apps. But there's a lot more um, that are just about to be rolled out by Apple and GM. So don't think that these are the only apps that you have. These are just the only apps that's, that are on this phone that um, are currently capable, or sorry, compatible. But there are a whole bunch more coming, and uh, they will be fully available uh, for free for all Apple CarPlay users. So fantastic system, super easy, pull it out and away it goes. And then back to the home screen, there's your simple, there is your system that says projection again, but again, we can do everything here. Plug it right back in, CarPlay, CarPlay. And again, this, this does not need Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or 4G, anything like that. This is because it's a corded system, we're not using any data, anything like that. The only time you're using data, just to be quickly aware, is if you're using the maps. So if you go into maps, you obviously have to have your locations turned on as well. I don't own this phone. But if you do, then you're using data. So just be aware of that. Then we're gonna touch that home button again. Awesome system, guys. I highly recommend you hop into a new 2016 GM vehicle. Check out CarPlay slash Android Auto because it is the simplest and easiest solution that I have seen so far for connectivity. Um, and at GM is the leading manufacturer in rolling out this technology. So awesome job, GM. Uh, great system. And uh, can't wait to show you guys in person. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll uh, talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye for now.